Hey there, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. Today I'm going to be comparing some of the top sold solar panels we are currently offering customers this year in 2021. There is going to be a total of five different manufacturers in six different panels. I'm going to be covering wattage, efficiency, warranty, performance, system pricing, panel count, recommended microinverter size, I'm just going to be showing that to you, and for the first time include an estimated monthly payment based on our most popular financing option, which is a 20-year loan. But before I get into the nitty gritty details, please take a second to subscribe to the channel by using that button down below and hit. While you're down there, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? I'd really appreciate it and it'd help get this video algorithms all fine tuned. Of course, let's not forget to request a hassle free quote from, from those of you that haven't made the switch to renewable energy. We service a huge area here in Southern California, roughly 100 miles. So if you live in Los Angeles County, Orange County, Riverside County, San Diego County, we would be thrilled to speak with you and provide you with a quote. So go ahead and use that link down below. Alrighty, so let's talk about solar panels and which one you should select for your home. Something I think is important to mention though is I always suggest that homeowners that are at the beginning stages of going solar do some research on the solar inverter technology that you want to use first before you even look at the different types of solar panels. My main reasoning behind this is I can actually create you several quotes with different panels all using the same inverter which really makes it easier for you to compare the different bids rather than different panels and different inverters being all over the place. Plus there's really only three inverter manufacturers out there or, or styles. Now we recommend Enphase as our primary choice, Solar Edge would be our runner up and then SMA America if you're looking at a string inverter similar to the Tesla solar inverter. I personally prefer Enphase, but some people like SolarEdge and that's fine, they're both great products. Just figure out what you want first before selecting a solar panel. We've done several videos in the past comparing all these inverters, so be sure to check those videos out. Now let's get back to the topic at hand and start actually talking about solar panels because that's why you click the play button. Now as I previously mentioned, we will be comparing five manufacturers in six panels. The main reasoning behind this is because LG Solar has two distinctly different panel lines, the Neon 2 and the Neon R, and we carry both. Whereas most manufacturers that we'll be talking about, they really have one panel line that's readily available for the residential market, and they tend to just refresh that one line every year or so to increase the wattage a little bit or the efficiency slightly. We'll also be going over the Solaria Power XT, Qcells QPeak Duo, REC Group's Alpha, and last but not least, I'm including Panasonic Evervolt. I'll be giving a score of one to six for each category that these panels will be competing in, and I'll tally them up at the end. Whoever has the lowest score technically has the best panel in offering, but Regardless of placement, these are all great options and I suggest you come up with your own scoring system to determine which panel is best for your situation based on some of the criteria I'll actually be showing you. Now if you were to request a quote from us, we actually build you out three bids, a good, better, and best, and it's kind of based off of what this video is going to show you. Now, I think it's really important that I mention that this video is not sponsored by any of the manufacturers discussed or shown, but we are a certified partner with pretty much all of them. The sole purpose of this video is really to provide you a quick side-by-side -side comparison of each top sold panel here in the United States. Our pricing in this video is subject to change and it's based on what we can actually purchase the panels at and sell them to you for. And by that such, it'll vary depending on your location, specific needs, along with who you get a quote from. In some situations, you'll need to work with a certified partner to actually receive the warranties being shown in this video. So always double check for yourself with the manufacturer when possible if that warranty requires a certified partner. Now, 
I strongly suggest that you get a quote from us by using that link down below for the most accurate pricing as we're not including any promotional discounts in this video. So let's get into it. Now this is in no particular order. We're starting off with the LG 440 QAC A6. This is a neon R panel. I recently did a video on it. Be sure to check it out. This panel is the highest wattage in the group followed by the Solaria Power XT 400R-PM. Qcells, the runner up behind Solaria with their Qpeak Duo ML-G9 Plus 380 watt panel. This actually just got released like early last quarter. And you have REC groups, REC 370AA, that's the alpha line, and LG's 370N1C-A6. This is the Neon 2 panel from LG. And lastly, we have Panasonic Evervolt 360. So that's what we have available. And as you can see, that was the order of who had the highest wattage panel to the lowest wattage panel. Quick note. Some of the manufacturers I just went over have higher wattage panels, but this video is on what we have available in stock and can actually install on your roof today if you got a quote. There's absolutely no point in me comparing a manufacturer's highest wattage panel that they have if I can't actually get it and sell it to you. There, there, absolutely no point. And that goes for anybody in that matter. You will probably have a hard time finding any particular manufacturer's highest wattage panel depending on their specs. But moving on, let's talk about efficiency. We can see that LG's 440 has the best, yet again in this area, followed by REC Group's 370 and then Panasonic's Evervolt 360. The LG 370, that's the Neon 2, was just below those two. And Solaria taking fifth with QCell being in last place. All the panels shown include a 25 year warranty that's pretty standard these days with top tier solar panel manufacturers. But when you look at the performance warranty, we really start to see some differences here. So LG's Neon R takes first place, not by much because our REC Group and Panasonic are tying right behind them. LG's Neon 2 is in third place and the Solaria and Qcell come pretty much in last. A new warranty we're seeing emerge in the market is a labor warranty. Solaria beats everybody, not by much, but they do beat LG by $50. Then Panasonic, REC, and lastly, Qcells. I can't remember the exact amount for Panasonic, so I'm pretty sure it's $250. It could be $350. It could be less. You might want to double check on that one. I do believe REC is $150, but it could be $250. Either way, it's not going to change with their location and placement too much. Moving to system pricing based on roughly an 8 kilowatt system size using Enphase microinverters, which I actually included what microinverter you should be looking at for each of these panels. Qcell's panel take the win here, followed by Solaria, then LG's 370 with the REC Group's Alpha right behind the LG, Panasonic Evervolt, LG's 440 being the most expensive because the Neon R has always been their most expensive panel. I wanted to include context on the number of the panels being used for comparison purposes because you usually would select a higher wattage panel or a more efficient panel if you had limited roof space. So LG's 440 watt Neon R panel needs the fewest amount of panels on the roof to get to an 8 kilowatt solar system, followed by Solaria with the Power XT 400, Qcell's 380, and everyone else pretty much tying right you know, with REC, LG, and Panasonic. You know, they all need 22 panels. I have included monthly payment before in a video, but not quite like this. So I'm really showing you a 20 year term loan at 4.99% with the 26% federal investment tax credit applied to the loan. Most solar loans assume you're going to apply that, so your payment actually starts off assuming that. And then as long as you do apply that tax credit, your payment stays the same. If you don't, then it just adjusts slightly and it would go up. So kind of keep that in mind, but this is pretty much how most solar loans are. And as expected, the placement is equal to that of the total system cost. I mean, that's of no surprise. It'd actually be pretty weird if it didn't. I really only want to include this so you had a reference to the monthly payment as we do get a lot of customers that finance the projects and they save quite a bit doing that. But this is pretty much 
leaves us with the total. You know, we got to tally all this up. And remember, the lower the number, the better. And forewarning, I was pretty shocked by these tallies. So LG Solar's 440 watt Neon R module tied, tied. Yes, I said tied. Didn't just come in first. They tied for first place with the Solaria Power XT 400 watt module. I double checked like four times just to make sure because I was like, what? Um, so remember, this is all about balance. And both these panels have some really high marks in some areas and then fall short in others. It, but it balances itself out. So second place went to LG's Solar's 370 watt Neon 2 module. I wasn't kind of shocked there. I mean, we do tend to put this panel as our better panel as it's always right in the middle in most cases. While third place was tied with Qcell's 380 and REC Group's 370 watt alpha. I honestly feel Panasonic's Evervolt panel is tied with third as well, but it kind of fell short in a couple areas and it really uses, loses ground at the price point. We just don't get good pricing on the Panasonic Evervolt and it's, it's kind of, rough and we only get the 360 we don't have the 370 um, that's out there as well some people might so that might bump it up a little bit if you're able to find the panasonic evervolt at a better price point that'll likely you know put it in a solid third place or possibly a second place regardless of which option you look at or what solar panel you select you're definitely getting a high quality product i mean just look at how close all these figures really are and there isn't one that really you know, just kicks the butt out of another one. Now, LG, the Neon R definitely has some strong areas, but you know, it's a balancing act. Anyways, that's it for this week's video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel as I have a multi-part video series coming up next week. It's for a whole home battery backup system, literally 18 kilowatts of solar energy with 32 kilowatt hours of battery backup using a smart panel for home automation. I'll be taking you behind the scenes of this entire project from start to finish. I'm actually breaking it up into a couple segments to make it easier to watch. So be sure to click that subscribe button. You're not gonna wanna miss it. It's pretty freaking cool. Now, for those of you that haven't made the switch to renewable energy, why haven't you? You can be saving money. So go ahead, use that link in the description below to request a hassle-free quote. We literally make it easy and affordable. I mean, I just showed you some options available in a video. So, I mean, we couldn't make it any easier without you requesting a quote. So go ahead and do that. And honestly, the biggest regret most of our customers have that they tell us is that they didn't make the switch to solar sooner. So don't wait too much longer. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.